This is the third video on Vroom Theatre. I would recommend, uh, please do visit for the first two video, get the better understanding what is Vroom Theatre, what is the use case, whether we should use the implement the Vroom Theatre, and how to implement the Vroom Theatre. So this is the third video of the Vroom Theatre. In this video, we are going to discuss what is the complexity and what is the application. Where you can use the Vroom Theatre types of bloom filter and the probability of the false positive. Let us start from the complexity part. This is very interesting. So, as I have already explained in the previous video, to implement the bloom filter, we take one bit array of size m. So, that is the uh, space complexity. So, it will always the m bit. Irrespective of the any number of the input element, added element, your bit I will be the m, that is the constant. And number of hash function k. So if, if you might have watched my second video, I have explained when we implement the hash uh, bloom filter, we take the multiple hash mechanism, hash function. So in the previous video, we have taken the three hash, uh, uh, hash methods. So, uh, the k is equal to three. The, then what is the complexity? If you are going to add an element, it is just big O k. k denote number of hash function in your Bloom filter implementation. And for the searching also, this is O k. So, this is always constant and not depend upon the number of element in a set. Suppose if you have the 10 element or 10,000 element, that insertion would be always okay. If you have implemented the bloom filter with one hash method, it becomes just one. So that's why in many applications, we do use bloom filter because complexity is very low. This is just to one, constant one. So immediate you can find out whether it does not exist in my system. So, and the space complexity is the constant n. And again, it does not depend upon the number of input in your data set. So in the contrast, if you use the data structure, binary search theory or the list or state, as the number of input grows, your space complexity will be increased so the searching capacity will be increased, complexity will be increased. But in the case of Bloom filter, it is always constant, space complexity constant, and the insertion of the searching complexity is the constant. This is the very beauty part of the Bloom filter, and that is the main reason in many applications we do use the Bloom filter. Facebook, Google, YouTube, Aadhaar card, we have used the Bloom filter. Applications, which scenario, which use case we can use the Bloom filter. Any use case, whether you have to find out whether this element does not exist in the set, then you can use the Bloom filter. As I have already explained in the previous video, take the example of the Facebook. When you create the Facebook, you have to give your choice name of the use case. And Facebook immediate say, this is does not exist, we can create. So immediate Facebook or Google is able to say this is present or not. Aadhaar card number. So when you create the new Aadhaar card, Aadhaar card generate one random number. So you have to find out whether this new generated random number or exist or not in the Aadhaar card system, it can easily find out. But if you see, if they would not have used the Bloom filter, how much time would have taken to find out one Aadhaar card number in the Aadhaar card database, whether you have the 70, 80 crores Aadhaar card number. URL shortness. So many uh, server provide the URL shortness. If you have the big URL, they will give one random number to make it short. But again, we have before issue that short URL, that system will check whether this random URL has been already issued or not. So any kind of checking does not exist, you can use the Bloom filter. And the previous used password, suppose if I want to use whether the new password have you used already in the past, 
we can use that. If it is say no, you can immediately say no using the Boom filter. You can use the Boom filter in this case. Spell check in the document. Recommendation system, any YouTube, Medium, Quora, if they want to recommend you some article, some videos. How he you know whether he has already sent this recommendation to you or not, they use the Boom filter. Google malicious URL. So Google always time to time find out they make the list of the malicious URL. So what happened? They make the uh, they make the list of the URL, and on that basis they create the Boom filter. They create the bit array, and time to time they send this bit array to all the Chrome browser. So in the Chrome browser itself. Before hitting that URL to Google, Chrome, Chrome filter will say, no, this is the malicious URL, you should not supposed to go there. Database. If you take any database, most of the database, Hatchbase, Cassandra, Postgres. So when you fire one query, select a street from table, whether ID is equal to X, Y, Z. So before, before hitting to actual data set, before hitting to actual storage, they check x y z exist or not so from bloom filter they can easily come to know it does not exist so the moment they will get the hundred percent false then it will not hit the storage immediately it will say the no result available these are the applications and this is the panel uh, use number of the applications the main theme is that in any application if you want to check this element does not exist in the set there you can use it the bloom filter types of bloom filter we have the counting bloom filter what happened i explained in the previous video starting this bit array with the zero and any element if you going to add do the hash then modulo m and you get suppose the value 4 so you check the 4 1 for the next element, next data, if you again get the 4, so we are not changing to 1 to 2 number. But in the counting bloom filter, you can use the 2. Compressed bloom filter. So suppose if you want to transfer the bloom filter from one server to another server or from server to client, you can use the compressed bloom filter. One example. Suppose if you have the bloom filter this way, Take one example, one, one, suppose, this is your bloom filter. Then no need to send this array, you can just convert this binary into the decimal, it's come the 25. You can just send the 25, that's enough. They can again generate the array from 25 and they will get the bloom filter um, facility. This is called the complex bloom filter. Variable increment bloom filter, so size is not constant of the bloom filter, they might be increased. So, and the bloomer filter, so for the each point you can make one array. And the stable bloom filter we use, if you have the streaming kind of data, you can use that. This is the further study, uh, depend upon your use case or the enterprise applications, when you do architect something. You can study more to which kind of bloom filter you should suppose to use in your use case. The uh, probability of the false positive. So what is this? I have already explained in the bloom filter, possibilities would be there, you can get the false positive. So the result will say it is present, but actually it could not be present. Because bloom filter take the guarantee for the non-existence, false result. If, he, if it says if this element is not present, means 100% it is not present. So there is no question for the false negative. Always giving that to negative. But in the case of the false positive, how you can calculate this data? This is the formula 1 minus 1 by m, full u 1 minus k and k, where m is the size of beta array, k is the number of hash function. N is the number of element you have already inserted in the bloom filter. Take the example. Suppose M is 8, N is 2, K is 2. We have two hash functions. False positive, if you put the data, you will get the 0 
सो सेवनटीन टाइम्स फॉल्स पॉजिटिव प्रोबेबिलिटी आर देयर सो इट इज द चांसेस ऑफ द सेवनटीन टाइम्स आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड यू कूड गेट द फॉल्स पॉजिटिव बट हैविंग सेड दैट द यूज केस अवर यूज केस इज बेस्ड अपॉन टू गेट द निगेटिव थिंग्स वेदर इट डज नॉट एक्सिस्ट इन दैट केस यू यू गेट ऑलवेज द हंड्रेड परसेंट आई थिंक दैट्स इट ऑन द ब्लूम थिएटर प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल टू गेट द मोर डिटेल और अपकमिंग द वीडियोज थैंक यू वेरी मच